Hey guys, um, sorry I haven't done much in the way of, uh, um, of uh, videos and stuff. I do apologize. Uh, the encoding rig behind me had a bit of a shit fit. Uh, plus, I had to replace the scroll wheel in my um, Razer Death Adder. Yes, my new scroll wheel came. As you can see, the nipple is missing off of this one. <laughs> he said nipple. Yeah. Uh, so, that's why I haven't been live streaming today. Um, and honestly, I had to move a huge double bay side by side fridge and. We know Dolly, and I'm just too fucking tired to do that shit. I, I put it like this: I am glad I am starting to work out more, because my the old me would have tried to move that fridge and died of a heart attack, and literally be my last dying breath would be <laughs> cheeseburger, you know. Um, but like I said, I'm trying out a new set of headphones. Um, I got these at Family Dollar. I know you guys are thinking, say what? Family freaking dollar. What a cheap ass. Go to Sears. Motherfucker, do I look like I make YouTube money? Am I Hootie Pie? No. Anyway, uh, so I went to um, Family Dollar and I got these guys, the Pulse. Um, if you want me to do a video uh, review of these, uh, let me know. Because um, I really do want to I really do want to do one. So, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to do one. I don't give a fuck what you say. This is going part of the wood coffee time recovery anyway, so fuck you. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be doing a, a review of those. Uh, I will be comparing them to a whole bunch of other different headphones like I did before in the past. Siberia's and whatnot and a whole bunch of others that I've got. And most people are like, well, Cobra, why don't you wear the Siberia's when you live stream? Fuck Siberia's. Those motherfuckers screwed me. Okay? No. Fuck them. They screwed me. Okay, so fuck them. How did they screw me? They screwed me out of a fucking merchandising deal. Okay? Same as freaking uh, Afunta. I, I split, I, I parted ways with Afunta because they wanted me to pay to get my happy ass all the way to fucking CES in Vegas and then stay at a hotel, or, you know, book a hotel for myself and all this other fucking shit and then spend all day at their booth uh, live streaming and stuff, uh, pimping out their products and then... At the end of it, I would have to have paid for the keyboard, the mouse, and the fucking headset. Well, the problem is, Afunta doesn't make a left-handed fucking mouse. I am left-handed, you twats. Hello, if any, anybody, and I do mean anybody, works at, 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 like, a company other than Razer or Logitech, you know? <coughs> Guys, left-handed mouse, sasa, pipi pipi sasa. God, I'm sick and tired of dropping 160 bucks for a freaking new left-handed edition razor or freaking 80 something for a used. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm sick of it. I'm, I am. I'm sick of it. I, I just, or, or dropping freaking. Do you know that that the the, the Logitech left-handed edition one I was looking at is still going for 680 something dollars? Fuck me, dude. This is on default settings. Uh -huh. Change. And in all honesty, she GPU. I know. Has that zombie got a cigarette in his mouth? Yeah. You know, smoking's bad for your health, right? Oh, someone's in there. Spam in a can. Oh, someone didn't run. See, this is why I don't fear a zombie apocalypse, mate. You want to know why? Because after a while, the zombies are going to outnumber the infected. And so, like, like in the first episode of Walking Dead, you saw the nurse, what was after the nurse, the skeletal body of the nurse. That, that tells me, I'm worried about a zombie horde getting hold of me because I'm going to be dead. You know, I'm going to be fucking Korean barbecue to those motherfuckers, you know? But, but... I fear that one one zombie out of nowhere biting me in the arm, you know what I mean? And becoming part of that fucking horde, but I don't fear... Oh, that's the, uh, the mansion. That's the stairwell in the mansion. Cool. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to video here. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to be chilling and playing a little bit of The Division. Um, running a couple of instances and whatnot and queuing up for a couple of side missions. Hopefully I can get a hungry hog to drop. Or I can get the AA-12 shotgun to drop because that's what I really want is the AA-12. But anyway, guys, I am Audi, and uh, I will look forward to seeing you guys later in the review of that uh, that th this this awesome headset. I mean, it it's nice.
Oh, and look forward to meeting on a review on the freaking uh, AMD FX 8350 because, yeah, I got my motherboard and my processor in today. He did. So that's why he's not. He, he's, he was down and wasn't answering your tweets and stuff, guys, because, well, you know, he couldn't. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Hasta mañana. Peace. Hi guys, I haven't done one of these videos in a long, long time, and so yes, I know it's messy behind me. Yes, that's a new light bulb to go in there. But anyway, long story short, I haven't done one of these videos in a very long time, and so I figured I would do one. And I'm gonna do a product review. This is not a paid promotion. I actually bought this with my own money. They didn't pay me. I'm not being paid to do this. So now I've got that disclaimer out of the bloody way. Without further to do, uh, here it is. Um, the uh, uh, Pulse Pro Series uh, headset, right here. Um, pretty much, it's, you guys know I've been looking for a new headset for quite some time. And I did see this headset uh, for sale at my local Family Dollar. Yes, Family Dollar. Uh, it's fifteen dollars, um, so for for fifteen bucks, let's give it a shot. Worst case scenario, if I don't like him, I can always box him up and get do a giveaway. So long, either way, it's win-win for everyone. So first things first, aesthetics. This thing looks the box looks beautiful, freaking beautiful. I mean, the box is like holy shit. I mean, the box looks shiny and beautiful. It's designed to get your attention, but what about the product? From the box, you'd think that the actual ear cups are going to be quite like 1970s headphones like dear god you know why do i have these freaking eight inch sub subwoofers on my ears but they're not actually um the actual headset is well it's right here and so the cups really aren't that big i mean you guys know this is my black and white headset that i'm wearing right now cup size is just a these are just a little bit bigger than these ones um they have like this fake pleather uh on the outside nice aesthetics i mean this looks like it it, it belongs to some tough hipster douchebag fucking starbucks coffee drinking man bun wearing oh look i've got a fanny pack on kind of guy and i like i said I, i'm a fan of the gunmetal gray i like gunmetal gray it's one of my favorite colors why my car is painted gunmetal gray um and so that's just a bonus to me but in all honesty it they do fit nice i mean they're self-adjust you just adjust and then you turn these little screws on the side Good. done now they're locked they don't move they don't want to move except for this one for some reason there we go now she's locked now she ain't gonna move um somewhat noise cancelling they do cancel out you know whispers things like that so if you're on the bus you know and that's what this phone is designed for. It's a three-prong jack, which means the head, the microphone, which is right here. Blah, 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 blah. It's one of those little lapel mics. Um, it's designed to fit into your smartphone. It is designed to go like that. And now, literally with my smartphone, I can just come down that out and I'm hearing my phone perfectly clear uh, let's do a Google thing oh, apparently the app isn't installed so we're gonna load up Google okay Google okay Google Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Made me say it three times, but go. So she's done. Okay, Google. What time is it in London? Ah! Charger. See? Right there. Okay, Google. How much wood could a woodchuck wood if a woodchuck could chuck ch could chuck wood?
It actually has an answer. 700 pounds is how much wood a woodchuck could wood. <laughs> See that, Cortana. Be that, Cortana. And... Okay, Google. YouTube.com. Let's look for Epic Sax Guy. Here we go. And, lo and behold, now it's playing Epic Sax Guy, and I can hear it quite well. See? Epic sax guy. And it's playing quite well. Not too loud. And there you go, guys. Um, what do I think of the actual headset itself? Fun. Um, it doesn't want to come loose, especially if I'm like, getting the drink of water or eating a salad. And you know, you know, you've seen me do it like in live stream, guys. I'll probably just lean back to get some water, like I just did right there. And my headset will go and fall off, and people will laugh. Well, this doesn't do that. I mean, I can lean all the way back, and it hasn't even moved. You know, like I said, just doesn't want to move. See, it doesn't want to move, and that's what I love about this headset. There is a downside to this headset. Uh, for the price, fifteen bucks. Yes, I'm happy with it. Um, but the downsides are gonna come right now. Um, plain and simple, there is no exterior marks that you can see. Okay, none. Let me change the light because the light settings kind of suck. There is no. Hey, say hi, Bubba. Hi. There is no exterior lights on the headset that tell you what's left and what's right unless you look on the inside. Right there, it says an L. Really badly abbreviated L, really bad abbreviated R. Yet they've got these two silver strips either side that they could have just laser engraved L and R on. So you could just look at it and go, okay, <coughs> done. But no, they haven't done that. It's on the inside where you have to look. I mean, then what's the point of uh, the silver strips? Even if it was a, an aesthetic thing, why not put like the, the name of the product, Pulse, on the side? Do something with it. You don't make a picture frame and put fuck all in it. It makes no sense. Um, I would like to see an adapter as well that um, you can use to augment and use these as like a PC headset, you know, instead of having, because basically what I use is I have a uh, uh, 3.5 mil jack extension from the PC and I have to literally pull half this thing out so it disconnects the microphone so I get both sides of the speakers to work and I hate doing that. Um, another caveat is after about a good three or four hour gaming session, it tends to hurt the cartilage right here and here on my ears, either side. I mean, it, it, it will start to give me a headache if I wear these for that long. So I have no clue, absolutely no fucking clue how they expect people to wear these while doing whatever while listening to their music or having it plugged into their phone i i just if you're on the bus you know you're sitting on a number 36 bus going to elephant and castle or wherever you know and you've got your phone on you and your missus is talking to you you know you're talking to her or whatever or your bloke or your boyfriend or whatever whatever you know you're really not going to wear these the entire length because again it pinches the fuck out the cartilage of your ears I don't have you wafer cup ears like some people, okay? I don't, okay? I don't have huge fucking ears by any standard. But, dear God, these things pinch the fuck out of me. Um, to the point where I was honestly thinking about returning it back to Family Dollar and getting my $15 back. I can. It's only within the 30 days. I mean, 
they're uh, and they're meant for an iPad and iPhone, Android. Yeah, you know, they're meant for a whole bunch of different things. But do you, I mean now audio quality is not that bad, okay? But still, listening to a good song. If it's a good enough song, you put it on your main speakers on your PC or your or, or your monitor or your phone, you know, or or God forbid you'll just get a pair of earbuds, just plug your earbuds in, you know, your inner earbuds that don't bug your cartilage or your fucking ears. And so I mean I, I even just now putting these on, okay, I'm feeling pressure on my lower lobes and the party is that hipsters get pierced. You know, you know what I'm talking about? These bits here. I don't know what they're called. I don't know I'm getting pressure there and on the lower earlobe itself. And I mean, I'm adjusting these things. And look, they're not even touching my head. See, now they're just flopping around. And I'm still feeling that much pressure. You know? So, God forbid if I actually adjust it properly and lock them in. Like that and like that. Yeah, I'm still feeling that pressure. I'm actually starting to feel pressure up here as if it's clamping my head like a vice. And some, they may be into that s and kind of shit. You know, I'm sitting on a bus that smells like piss because a fucking hobo two seats in front of me literally decided to have a, a fucking baby wipe shower, you know. But I need to get this fucking bus to work or I'm fired, you know. So I've got my bloody phone here and I'm listening to fucking Ace of Base or whatever the fuck it is you're listening to this day and age. Kids and their freaking dubstep, you know. Uh, uh, and it sounds like two robots having a fucking angry sex, if you ask me. You know. Uh, and all of a sudden, you know, it, it, it's like... Ah! It, it literally feels like a, a, a clamshell tortoise is trying to squeeze my head like a grape. Um, so if you're into that sort of shit, great. If you're not, uh, um, all in all, out of, out, out, it, it, if it was a one out of 10, I'd have to give these uh, aesthetics, the way they look, no contest, six out of 10. The way they feel on my head, you know, um, initially when I first put them on, six out of 10. Um, the caveats are the downsides, i.e. no exterior letters or markings, that's got to be a two. The three-point jack that doesn't have an adapter, because I know you can get the, the, the adapters for these to turn them into like a regular, get, regular audio headset. Again, it didn't come with that, so that's a one. Um, the box art on it is, it's very nice, it's very beautiful, it's nicely done. Um, it does this that it's compatible with, with you know iPhones, iPads, Androids, things like that. That I do like. But in all honesty, do you ever see yourself wearing these things while you have your phone? Are you going to be wearing this while you got your phone while, while while driving your car? No, you're not. Because if you've got a sheriff trying to pull you over, you know, and you can't hear his sirens, you'll end up seeing his blueberries and cherries, if you know what I mean. And then he'd be like, are you talking on your phone? Hang on, officer. What? You know? Just, just... For the $15, is is it worth it? Not really. Um, Seven to $10 price range and a bargain bin, yeah, I'd probably pick them up. But the full price, 15 to 20 that I've seen them sell for, not so much. Um, pretty much it's, it's, it's... Is it a hit or a miss? Put it like this, I would buy these and give these to my worst enemy, just to piss them off. Just the next time they put them on to listen to their, their, their Transformers making GoBots music, you know, and their head starts to hurt the fuck out of them, I'd be like, ha ha, ha ha, you know what I mean? Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this product review. Until then, see you in the next video. Ciao.